so today I'm going to do a really quick video, very minimal editing hopefully, for the Laser Bond USA. It is a liquid plastic that hardens when activated with UV light and I got this at Dollar Tree obviously for a dollar. And this is what the package looks like, there's, it, it's all kind of self-explanatory but uh, I've seen stuff like this, this technology exists in things like uh, fillings. So there's like the metal fillings that everybody's familiar with. Uh, and then there's also the fillings where it's like a white liquid that's poured in after your cavity is drilled out. And then they hit it with a UV light and then that hardens it. And this is basically that same technology. And according to this, it makes a strong lasting bond, fixes and fills, fastens and seals, pliable, paintable, remarkable. And they advertise it as working with plastic, metal, rubber, wood, glass, and more. All right, so let's get to it. Here's the, here's the UV light. There's the UV light and uh, they have some warnings down here. So uh, don't point the UV light at your skin or your eyes and don't inhale the vapors of the liquid which is housed down here. Um, and uh, the back just advertise more. So there's the, the liquid is housed down here. The UV lights here, it comes with, uh, it already has two replaceable button cell batteries. And then the cap also acts as a stand. So you can like fill it and then put it down. All right, so now I'm gonna open it real quick. Okay, after opening it, here is the main thing. And then it comes with uh, whatever this is, um, advertisement, okay, for whatever that is. And then warning stuff, um, or I guess just the instructions. So, I mean, you get the idea, you fill it and you fill it from here. So as you can see, mine is leaking. You can see it right there. So be careful for that. I got some gloves because I don't want any of that on my hands. So here's the UV light. You can see it right there. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be. So I'm gonna unscrew this and yeah, it's, it's leaking. Um, so the way you dispense it is you just squeeze right here. This is soft and it's made to dispense but uh, it's already leaking and that's kind of upsetting. And the main reason I wanted to try this was because my son, I bought, I bought this Bowser figure for my son and he broke the hand off and it's not supposed to come off. It's supposed to twist like this, but it's not supposed to come off. So what I'm gonna do is try to use this to bond this back together and we'll see how that works. I should have also had crazy glue to see how it compares, but I don't have any with me. And I know crazy glue would not have been enough to fix this. First what I'm gonna do, just to make it fair, is I'm gonna shave down right here to make it flat. And you know, obviously be careful. Use extreme caution. Always cut away from yourself. So I'm just shaving away at this little nub right here to make it flat. You know, don't, don't cut like this towards yourself, you're gonna cut yourself. Then I'm gonna take the hand and do the same cutting away I'm being very careful not to cut myself please don't don't try this part this part is completely optional I just wanted a flat surface this has very little to do with the glue okay so next I'm gonna take the liquid Leave the stand here. I'll take the liquid, pour it right here. I don't know how much, so I'm gonna do a little, just kind of coat it that much. I'm gonna put the hand on in the position I'm gonna want it on because it's not gonna spin anymore. So, in whatever position I feel should be its final resting position. Oh gosh, this is so annoying with gloves. Okay. So I'm basically going to have to drop it on and balance it on there. Ah, This would be better if I had some sort of clamp. Here, you know what? I'm just going to hold it like this. And then use the UV light. Let's see, I, I don't expect this to hold. It's uh, supposedly three seconds should do it. That was well more than three seconds. And it is 
not stuck. So you know what? Because it's not sitting on there, I'm going to shave it down some more. Make sure it's entirely flat. Well, it seems to have hardened, just not on the toy. Not where I needed it. So I'm going to try that again. I'm starting to feel that at this point, hot glue would have been easier. So I'm gonna, this time I'm gonna do it on here, just a dot. And again, nothing. You know what, I wonder if it will even work on its own just I should have tested this first see if it even works whoa that that's pretty hard that's it's no longer a liquid for sure You know what, that's pretty interesting. It won't work in this specific scenario that I'm trying to use it for, which is kind of the whole point of getting it. But I do have another alternative. So I bought this dragon is a, whoops. Ah, see, you can see why I got it already or why I need this. This arm uh, pops into the socket right here, but it won't stay in, it just keeps falling out. And I suppose it's supposed to do that, but I kind of want it to stay there. So I'm going to try this. And hopefully we'll have better luck than with the Bowser figure. What I don't understand is how is the UV light supposed to penetrate down into this? Do you know? Like, let's see. And it didn't work. What a surprise. Well, the reason it's not working is because the UV light isn't able to hit it. But I mean, if you need it in areas like this, how is the UV light supposed to hit it? Well, that's frustrating. Here's some of the plastic from the packaging. And I'm going to try it on here. Put it right there. Then I'm going to fold it in on itself and see if that'll hold. It should have only been three seconds. I'm doing it far longer. And look at that. It did not hold. That's very interesting. So it hardened for sure. And it's all on one side, but it didn't hold to this side. Let's try that again. One more time. I'm giving this thing way too many chances. But if you notice, it held on the side that I shine the light through. So let's try this one more time. I'm going to shine the light. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to flip it around. I'm being way too generous. One, two, three. And once again, nothing. So there you have it. The Laser Bond USA repair in three seconds. It's a very interesting concept. I like the technology, I guess, and the attempt. But in practice, you're better off with crazy glue or hot glue. Or contact cement. You know what? I'm going to use contact cement. And that's it. Thanks for watching.